Hey y'all, Irix Guy here, and this is the first time that I'm gonna make unsweet tea. None of that sugar. The sugar's bad for you, makes you fatter. Uh, so we're gonna make unsweet tea, and this is my first time doing it. I got this really nifty uh, iced tea maker, and you can expand this video's description and then click the link there to find where to order it online. But I just felt it was an easier way to, hopefully be an easier way to make tea. So, we're gonna get started here. I've already cleaned this stuff off. It says, fill the pitcher with water to the top water level mark on the pitcher and pour into the water reservoir. So the water level marks right there, that's convenient. They tell you where to fill to. So we're gonna fill this up with water, H2O. Filling it up. Shouldn't take too long and you know, one of the good things about this, you know, I did a, um, I, was, I was crunching the numbers, and I'm like, I buy a lot of unsweet tea in gallon jugs. Number one, the gallon jugs are made out of plastic, so that's more plastic to pollute the environment. Number two, I'm constantly having to rebuy the uh, gallon jugs of unsweet tea. So I was like, you know what, I can get a really fancy iced tea makers such as this one. I can buy a ton of tea bags. I bought three 104 tea bag boxes of tea. So, I mean, I've got, my, my tea making will go on for many months before I have to buy any, uh, any additional tea. So I've went a little bit too far with the water, so I'm gonna have to dump some out. Dump a little bit of water out because you want it to go to that line. It's cool how they put that water line in this, on this picture, just to make it, make it kind of idiot proof. So it says, okay, so I fill the pitcher, and then it says, and pour into the water reservoir. So the water reservoir, it's a fancy sounding word, is up here. So let's see. It says, warning, to prevent injury from the hot steam, do not plug unit in until water is in the reservoir and pitcher is in place. So we're going to pour the water into the water reservoir. Just making sure I was pouring it in the correct place because that would be bad to destroy my fancy tea maker. Okay, so the water is in the water reservoir. Now it says place ice cubes in the pitcher to the top of the ice level marker on the pitcher. So there's ice all the way to the top. That's a, that's a good bit of ice. So I put my ice in here. And that's worth mentioning, if you don't have a lot of ice, you know, or if you're planning to make some frozen drinks or something later, like some margaritas, not in this, but in a margarita maker, check out my other video for that. You may want to monitor how much ice you're using. So, it says, fill the pitcher water top mark, do not overfill, place ice cubes in the pitcher to the top of the ice level, mark on the pitcher, place a steeping basket which is this, with lid into the pitcher and a line under the machine. Make sure the pitcher is, is pushed snugged against the machine. So, this is the seeping basket lid, not to be confused with the tea pitcher lid. And I felt that was a brilliant design. They cut this little notch out, so you're like, yeah, dude, that's my steeping basket. And you're like, yeah, man. This is my tea pitcher lid, so once my tea's ready. So, let's follow those steps again. Place the steeping basket with lid into the pitcher and slide under the machine. 
Let's see. Okay, and I'm going to turn this this way because it... Yeah, there we go. Okay, so see that now... So the handle's out this way. That's probably your optimal way to do it. And then that's going into that, so this stuff, uh, this T is going to flow down in there. It says, plug the cord into an electrical outlet and push the own button to begin the brewing cycle. The indicator light will illuminate to let you know when the machine is on. When the water is cycled through, the unit will shut off automatically. Let's see, where did we put the tea bag in? Fill the pitcher of water to the top. Let's see. It's not showing where we put the tea bag in. Okay, to brew iced tea. Fill the water pitcher with tap water to the desired capacity. Okay, it says... Fill the pitcher with ice cubes. Place the steeping basket on top. It says place an 8 to 12 cup size... 8 to 12 cup basket size... Paper filter. Paper filter? Wait a minute. It says put desired amount of tea bags or loose tea into the filter. You didn't tell me I needed a filter. I wonder if... Yeah, I'm going to try it without a filter because, see, these are in bags. So I wonder... I wonder if that filter is really necessary. Maybe I'll just have some gritty, some gritty tea. I don't know. Let's see. Desired amount of tea bags. Six to ten regular bags. Let's see. Two quarts for tea. Six to ten regular bags. Two to four level teaspoon of loose tea, one quart. Okay, so there's there's a significant amount of bags I've got to, there's a significant amount of bags I got to put in here. So maybe this first time, just to test it out. Okay, there's one tea bag. It's saying six to 10, That that sounds like an awful lot. There's two tea bags. Three tea bags. Four tea bags. Well, maybe the first time I will go with six. And then if it's too strong of a tea, I will know that I can reduce the number of tea bags that are used. Okay, so we got that in there. Now let's, let's put this thing back on. So that's on. Plug in the power cord and push the own button to begin the brewing cycle. So we're going to do that. And keep in mind, I did not put... It's saying to put a... Uh, a filter in there and I, I don't I mean I don't have any filters and it didn't come with a filter I would have I would have hoped that they would have at least put a free filter in there to to show you how you're supposed to do it you know but it, it didn't <laughs> so that's with six tea bags and we're gonna let this sucker run see if it tells us about how long this may take It says place an 8 to 12 cup basket size Mr. Coffee paper filter into the steeping basket. Hmm. 
Yeah, I'm, I wonder if that's really necessary. I mean, we'll find out. I mean, if this tea is full of, uh, of tea leaves or whatever, I'll know that the filter is probably needed. You're starting to see the tea come down already. That is pretty impressive. It says when the brewing cycle is completed, the unit will shut off automatically. The indicator light will go out to let you know the brewing cycle is completed. So see there's a little indicator light right there in its own. So this is just gonna have to have to do its thing here. It's actually going pretty quickly. Look at that. Okay, so the time is it's 425. Well, let's see if I can get in focus there. Yep, 425. So we're going to come back. We're going to speed up this video. And we're going to come back and I'll let you know how long this took. The tea light has turned off, and to check the time here, let's see. So that's how long it took, and it's four, about 4.33, 4.34. So let's taste this stuff, because you know if it's not, if it's not tasty, it's not worthwhile. So first thing we're going to do, we're going to take this off. Is this finished? There's steam. Watch out. Don't burn yourself. Don't burn yourself. And then, uh, then I'm just going to get a glass. I'm going to take this piece off. And see, there's the... Let's look at this. So the bags are in there. There's not a mess. Unless I've got a bunch of loose tea in my stuff, I'm not going to waste money on paper what they call them, filters. I'm not gonna do that. That's wasted money in my opinion. So I'm gonna take that out, spray it off in my sink. By the way, it said this stuff is not dishwasher safe. So, you know, don't put your, don't try to clean this in the dishwasher because you'll probably ruin it. First thing we're gonna do is just pour a straight tea And then we could put our little pitcher cover on, see? You put that in your refrigerator or whatever. Let's pull the camera up here so we can get a better view of what's going on. Let's see. So that ought to have my face in the frame. If I do that, I don't have a viewfinder on this, so we're just going to have to kind of wing it. So if I cut my, if I cut my face off, let's see my head's right here, right above that. So let's see if I got that in the shot. Yeah, I may go up just a hair. That should have me there. Okay, first impressions. Haven't added any lemon to it. The aroma is very nice. It smells like a fine tea. I use six bags, and I would say it's it's definitely not too bitter for me. Again, that's a matter of personal preference. You may even want it stronger. It's got a very good flavor, so I like that. I think six bags, I, I don't think for me, and again, personal preference, I don't think I would go less than six. I think six, six for me is on the money. Now I'm going to squeeze a lemon in here. This is a fourth, a quarter of a lemon. Squeeze that in. 
I think I swish that around there because I don't have a knife to start it with. We'll see what this tastes like. That is on point. So what I have now that's exactly how I like my tea. So now I've got a convenient way. It's very affordable to make tea. And again, the return on investment for this thing should be incredible. Because after I make a few uh, things of tea, a few pitchers of tea, this thing will in essence pay for itself because I'm no longer having to buy one gallon jugs of unsweet tea. And I'm no longer having to pollute the environment with one gallon plastic jugs after I drink my unsweet tea. So this is incredible. So tell me what you think within the comment section below. And again, if you want to start making your own tea, and again, it doesn't have to be unsweet tea. If you want to, you want to put sugar in, make yourself fat, do it. But that's an incredible tea. It's very fresh, very simple. <clears throat> Excuse me. So again, expand this video's description and then click the link there to find where to order the tea maker and the tea bags and all mother tea, yeah, all mother tea accessories too. Thanks for your viewership and y'all have a good day. Oh, and ring that bell icon when you subscribe to be notified whenever I post another video. Hey y'all, Captain Irix Guy here. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to subscribe. It's youtube.com forward slash Irix Guy. And ring that bell icon when you do to be notified whenever I post another video. Thanks for your viewership and y'all have a good day.